Good morning, folks. We've got space weather to discuss. We're still eyeing that odd CME heading our way. We're going to take a look at seismicity and how the ocean leak off the Oregon coast may be related. We'll hit the deep ocean currents as well, but we start with our star. We find the last day continued to include filament destabilizations and collapses. We haven't had any of them erupt in Earth's direction, but several others remain southern coronal hole turning in down there as well but yesterday we showed the endless spirals for the slow moving cme that is headed our way i'm kind of excited to see what this looks like in the solar wind especially if noah's version of the analysis turns out to be correct i've never seen a vacuum favored solar shock wave where the leading component is a lack of particles should be interesting when it arrives in the coming days Meanwhile, as I'm clearly losing my voice, we continue to monitor those plasma filaments. You can see they've continued erupting or collapsing here in 304 angstroms. Where we are focusing on less is the sunspots. Several active regions can be seen here, but they've continued their spread and decay phases in full swing. Northern grouping still contains large umbra, and while these spots may yet produce flaring, the chances of those flares and the chances they will be large is dropping as the active regions distend and fade a bit. Let's go to the earthquakes. Where a 6.6 .6 struck south of the Fiji Islands, it was yet another at the deep mantle transition zone, and it was out to sea, so damage is very minimalized in those circumstances. You may have heard about the ocean leak offshore of Oregon. Indeed, there is a superheated, chemically distinct water shooting up from the ground right at the fault line. This is important because the water acts as a lubricant for slow seismic movement, and without it deep below, the pressure can build, leading to a much larger earthquake, something to watch as time progresses here. Last but not least, good article on how deep Antarctic circulations are slowing down, readying to collapse. They of course blame global warming and there are other explanations, but in the article, they repeatedly mention the climate impacts of this breakdown without one mention of which way it will shift the climate. There's a reason. And let's just say it's the same shift as what happens when the northern currents break down. And if the indication was that they would cause further warming, you can bet your bottom dollar they'd say that. We greatly appreciate your support. Please check out the links below the video in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now at 6 a.m. in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone